Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Haze Co. This is your November pick a card spread. If you've never been here before, it's really easy. <laughs> All you gotta do is pick a pile. Um, and that is whatever pile jumps out to you based off of the energy. You could go by the number, pile one, two, or three. Or you can pick one of the stones that I've got here for the first. We've got Shungite. And for the second, <laughs> second, for the second stone, we've got Labradorite which is actually one of my favorites. Actually, this, all the stones here today are some of my favorite stones and some of my favorite stones to work with. And then we've got Snowflake Obsidian. Really pretty stone there. We've got an Oracle card and a Tarot card here, and we're looking at the energy for the month of November. Overall energy is going to be the Oracle card and the supporting insight will be with the tarot i am today using the spirit de la lune oracle deck and my favorite my baby my favorite tarot deck the wild unknown tarot and i have those linked down below if you all are interested in purchasing these decks for yourselves so for pile number one that's everybody not everybody for the people that chose the shungite stone you guys have the waxing crescent which comes with awareness and the six of wands for your message for the month of november and I, I like to see this here so let me start with reading your message for the month the overall energy the waxing crescent it also has the numerical energy of the number six and you've got the six of wands so six big six energy coming in through for you for this month okay um that is that energy is associated with really standing firm in the foundations that you've planted for yourself and building upon them okay with the waxing crescent the energy that pops up there is this energy of a shift coming in and things starting to build up things starting to change things starting to shake and move right so for you guys for the month of november especially with us being in the energy and season of change you are definitely in a space to where you are feeling things start to shift. They're starting to move for you. Um, I would go so far as to say as some of you may have made some physical changes in your lives by way of, I don't know, maybe your career or um, something to do with your finances or by way of the way that you're interacting with people or something that you're doing. There are some, some changes happening for you, right? So with that being said, there's this energy of things building. And I did mention that six energy earlier. So for those of you that came to this Shungite pile, what I pick up on is that you have either been in your heads intending and manifesting or in the physical, you've been recently doing the beginning steps or taking the baby steps towards whatever it is that you want to see or that is going to be playing out for you over the next few months. What is happening during the month of November is you're, <clears throat> excuse me, you're actually starting to see a little bit of growth on the things that you have put in on the work that you have done. So. I'm happy to see that energy coming up here for you. What I also want to talk about <laughs> with this card is the tarot, the insight that comes with the tarot, and you've got the six of wands here, okay? Now, I like when this card comes up, especially when I'm reading for people that may be going through a little bit of a tough time, going through a little bit of a rough time, or whatever it might be, right? The Six of Wands symbolizes coming out of a space, and keep in mind that the Five of Wands comes before that. And if y'all watch my videos, you know that the Five of Wands is what is one of my aw shit cards. I don't like the Five of Wands. That's just it's too much going on, too much energy swirling around, too much energy going out. You you have no clarity, all of the things. When you hit the Six of Wands, when you look at this card, you actually see the Five of Wands on the bottom of it. So when you hit the Six of Wands, you are now the butterfly emerging from whatever this chaos was, whatever this density was whatever the stagnancy was whatever this heavy energy was so whatever seeds you planted or foundations that you're building upon that i mentioned a little bit earlier it's very possible that the road to it was not was not smooth you might have been 
traveling on a bumpy path with square wheels you know what i'm saying so with that not to say that you weren't getting there but you might have hit some corners you might have hit some dips uh, what's happening now is you, your your wheels are smoothing out your path is starting to smooth out it might still be a little bit shaky because you are just emerging okay but understand that you're emerging that's the important thing happening here you are coming into new foundations new beginnings whatever that may be for you and it's looking bright it's looking light things are just starting to move and shake and also with these cards i get the message to tell you guys that just because things don't look the way that you planned it does not mean that they won't and it also doesn't mean that they're supposed to okay keep in mind the best way to make god laugh is to tell him your plans you might have you know each step set out for yourself and you might even hit every step and then when you get to the end line you're like mm, this don't look like what <laughs> what i had in mind it doesn't mean that it's not what it's supposed to be Keep in mind, once you complete a task or once you finish something or once you get to a space and where things don't look exactly how you thought they would, it opens up doors for new opportunities. It opens up space for you to start shifting things, for you to start working on things, for you to start coming in with a new perspective, okay? And that that is also an energy with this uh, Waxing Crescent card, okay? So for you guys that came to the Shungai Pile for the month of November, you really are in the season of change and your change is starting to unfold, it's starting to flower, it's starting to bloom. And that's this very positive energy. So words of encouragement to you is just keep going, keep trucking. Even if you do kind of still feel this Five of Wands energy, it will come to pass, okay? And that's your spread, okay? That's your spread for November. Pile number two for the people that have picked my favorite stone, Labradorite. You found yourself here. These messages are for you. Okay, let's see what we've got. <laughs> wow. Okay, so for those of y'all that came here, November is about to be lit. It's about to be wild and it's about to be lit. And that could be in the physical, but that could also be on a subconscious level. However, these messages... Uh, come to you interpret them as you see fit okay <clears throat> you guys have super moon which is the wild card in this deck and you also have the eight of wands so let's just <laughs> let's let's get into it um generally speaking when we have a super moon which we did just have a super moon as a matter of fact um the libra new moon was a super moon that is a point in time <clears throat> or the point in the lunar cycle when the moon is as close to the earth as it's going to get so the energy is heightened the energy is enhanced the energy like whatever the moon is hitting during that time however it's hitting your chart that is what is being bought to light or that's what's being renewed refreshed whatever whatever's going on okay you got super moon for the month of november so what I get is big energy here for you, big shifts, big changes, big things coming in. I keep I, I keep hearing opportunity, opportunity, and I, my heart chakra is kind of swelling. So, <clears throat> excuse me, if you watch my videos or if you've ever had a reading from me, you know that when I get these feelings in my body, it it is connected to what those energetic centers are associated with. So feeling my heart chakra swell and hearing opportunity, what I pick up on is that November, for some of you, you might be put into a position to where you're presented with an opportunity that is very closely related to the things that you are passionate about. And that could be a relationship. We are in Scorpio season. We are, we are in passion season. And then we got the Taurus full moon coming up as well, which is a Venusian. Taurus is a Venusian sign, so it could be love, it could be something that you're passionate about in your career, it could be a shift in a, some sort of familial relationship or friendship that you're very passionate about. Something big is happening for you, something major is just some sort of energy is shifting for you and it's going to be heightened during this month. So even if October was kind of quiet for you, just know that things are moving and shaking during the month of November, even if it's getting cold, even if it's getting quiet quiet before the storm okay and I don't when I say that I don't necessarily mean that it's going to be rocky that it's going to be you know cloudy gray skies and rain and snow and all the things I just mean you know like it's just probably about to get really wild for you guys but I don't get bad vibes from that okay you got the eight of wands as your supporting insight from the tarot and I like this card it does have a very abrupt energy but I like this card because whenever the eight of wands pops up it points to some sort of 
change in the physical or some sort of move or action that is taking that tips the scales that flips the whole game okay so for those of y'all that came to my favorite stones pile the messages for you are lit something in november some sort of instant some sort of action that you take some sort of sentence that you might speak out of your mouth something that you might do and what I pick up on is that the move and the action might be subtle. It may be something that even goes unnoticed or that you might not even you might not even think twice about. But by way of doing this, you are literally like putting yourself in alignment. You see that little bolt of lightning and the color in it? Putting yourself in alignment to whatever it is at the center of that white space. And when I read with this deck, I like to think of that as everything that is everything that needs to be in all positive things all glory all the things all the abundance all the all of the things um yo november is lit for you guys i, I do pick up on the sense that something is happening for y'all that you may not that's like on the surface you're like mm, i'm really not with this but i i'm I feel like I'm supposed to tell you, yo, just just let life lead you. Just roll with the punches. Do what you got to do because by way of doing that, you're actually setting yourself up for success and it's going to come in and, and shift a lot quicker than you know. And you're not even going to realize that you did it, but it is coming and it's positive and it's happy and it's abundant. And it's it's I almost get this sense of like this is what you have been waiting for. The time is now seize the opportunity um you're going to seize it you're not going to even realize that you seized it but once you do realize what's happening do not be afraid <laughs> don't fret my pretty um do not be afraid scary hours yo <laughs> listen dark hours um halloween time you know i'm I'm doing this a couple i'm doing this reading a couple days before um halloween but you guys aren't going to notice that you seize this opportunity that's coming in. You'll notice it after the fact. And I get the sense that once you realize what type of way you put yourself in, you might get a little nervous. Don't be nervous. Go balls in. You got the wild card. Balls to the wall, okay? Like, what better time than now the time is now? Ain't nothing to it but to do it, all right? Pile number three. For the people that chose snowflake obsidian another one of my favorite stones um if you guys haven't noticed i really like grounding stones and earth so earth star chakra and chakra stones um and these are all scorpio stones by the way so since we're in scorpio season good stones to work with i've got them all listed um let's see what you guys got for those of you that were called to pile number three the snowflake obsidian you have the seed moon which points to new growth Ooh. popping you got the ten of cups and underneath that is the ace of swords so let's let's see what spirit what the cards got to say with the seed moon coming up here the numerical energy Ooh, you know what wow you got one here one with the ace of swords and then you've got the ten of cups which is one amplified by zero so um i'm getting a lot of fresh <laughs> fresh new energy for you guys new things are popping off new opportunities are popping up new relationships whether that be you know friendships family members or you know intimate relationships new things are coming in new energy is coming in for you and you know you like it your higher self likes it you with the shits and i'm with the shits for you um what i pick up on for the month of november we are now in we are really in with our feet in the ground in the season of change we're dealing with the energy of things shifting and if you look at life on a collective level at least especially if you live here in the states we're about to have an election and this one's going to be an interesting one you know what i mean we're, we're at, on a global scale we're still dealing with a pandemic you know and on a cosmic scale we we've got all of these retrogrades and two of the major retrogrades getting ready to go direct or going direct in uh, uh sorry in november we're in november now so there, there's a lot of energy swirling around there's a lot of things that point to hey what was happening before is not going to work for you and so you've got to be open to and be accepting of whatever is coming in for you so i really feel like for those of you guys that came to this pile you've been in a space of I want to say almost stagnancy, but not like, oh, I don't want to do anything. I'm lethargic. Not not like that, but almost just kind of like 
almost like a purgatory, so to speak. <laughs> and I don't want to put it that way, but kind of floating on a cloud, floating in space, like, mm, what's happening next? I know that something new is coming and I know I can't go back there, but you know, what's coming in kind of in the, in the sense of the unknown, not really knowing what's, what's happening. What is going down for y'all in the month of November is your new beginnings, your new chapters, your new spaces are going to start to become evident for you. And however they're playing out, I get the sense that it's lit. You like it. You're with it. You're like, oh, that's why I had to stop doing whatever I was doing over there. Oh, that's why I had to leave that job. Oh, that's why I didn't have that money at that time so that it could come in right now because I need it for this, which is going to change my life. You know what I'm saying? So yeah those of y'all that came to this pile really positive popping new energy new things coming in for you for the month of uh november i keep wanting to say october but we are definitely in november definitely in november we could fast track to december so we could get out of 2020 because what has this year been so with the tarot to um give us some supporting insight into what's going on for you guys for the month of November. You've got the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Swords. And what I like with this here is anytime I pull the Ten of Cups, the first message is just complete happiness, um, being content. If you look at the imagery, all of these cups, each cup has something different coming from the top, right? There is this equal exchange of energy and this equal disperse of all of these different energies going down into each of the cups on the bottom so you're completely fulfilled you have every all i have is all i need you have everything that you need and everything that you need is what you have okay um this is very positive energy this is coming into a space to where everything that you've put in all of the work that you've been through and keep in mind that this is the water element so all of the shit and the turmoil and the emotional baggage that you had to you know dredge around with work through wash out by way of all these astrological energies everything was not for nothing and you you're in a space now to where you understand your experience and you can now be gratuitous of it or for it okay you're not in a space now to where you're like why is this happening to me you're now in a space to where you're like i am happy and i understand why that happened and that's where that ace of swords comes in you have clarity of everything that has transpired and you have clarity of everything that is transpiring and that will come to pass for you or that will transpire for you in the near future you it's like you've got the swords element is is uh the air the sword suit is the air element which is all clarity perspective the mental you have a clear outlook on everything that you have had to do or everything that has been done to you everything that you have had to work through in order to get yourself into this new space of this seed moon and to where this seed moon space is a positive and abundant space for you so november is lit for y'all snowflake obsidian people i like it i'm with it and those are your readings for or that that is your pick a card reading for the month of november i hope that that message found you well if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me i offer several different spreads uh, you can find those on my etsy shop which is linked down below um, I also have some videos up that I like you guys to watch. I mentioned for somebody's reading, I mentioned retrogrades. The retrograde series is down there along with the Mercury retrograde readings for the natal Mercury placements. We also are having the Scorpio full moon. Well, we have it at the end of October, but the Scorpio full moon, is, um, Scorpio new moon is the energy of November. And also the, no, I'm sorry. That would have been the, uh, that would have been the Taurus full moon right before november so we're working with taurus full moon energy scorpio new moon energy and i'm not sure of the date but possibly working with gemini full moon energy at the end of the month i would have to check my dates but everything that i want y'all to watch is linked down below everything that i want y'all to go check out is also linked down below click on all the things thank you guys for watching i will catch y'all next time happy november enjoy the season of change peace